Hey friends, so I ran into the Fresh Market the other day and just picked up a few things. I was looking for some grass-fed bones so I can make my own bone broth, but they don't carry that. So while I was there, I picked up a few things that I've been wanting to try. Um, the Zevia, the Sparkling Water Blackberry. I did pick up a case of that. I already took two out and put two in the fridge. I've had one and I do like it really good um let me just share with you the ingredients here so no carbs they do put stevia in there so if you're wanting like a sparkling water with a little bit of sweetness to it i recommend that they have different flavors this was on sale i believe for $5.99 they're the lily's chocolate now, this is the Fresh Market. The Fresh Market, everything is normally like a dollar more. Um, these were on sale for $5.99, so I picked up a bag because I always like to have these on hand. My caramelized and salted, this and the salted almond is my favorite. So these are normally $4.99. Typically, at my other local grocery stores, um, they're $3.99. Fresh Market, they're always a dollar more, but... They were on sale two for eight, so I picked up two. And they're the only ones that carry this flavor besides Hy-Vee, which is a little further away from me, and Whole Foods, which is a lot further away from me. Um, I also picked up my eggs. I love my pasture-raised eggs from Vital Farms. If you watch my Instagram stories, you know that I've been wanting to try the Lancanto Monk Fruit Sweetener. Um, when I went last time, it was on sale, but it was out of stock. This time it was still on sale, I believe, for $6.99, um, and they had it. So they had this one and the brown. I only picked up this one because I have a lot of swerve in my pantry. And then the last thing I got from the Fresh Market are these water enhancers. I got the Freshly Fruit Punch. I tried this for the first time yesterday, and I do like it. Here's the macros and the ingredients. So they're a little cleaner than, like, the Mio's. Um, and then I got the coconut pineapple. Haven't tried that yet. And there's the macros and the ingredients. So just a small little quick haul. I just wanted to share that with you because I always forget to share like the little, the little ones, but this is all really good, clean keto. All right, friends. So this is my second little Walmart haul. Um, you saw my Costco haul. That's going to take me through carnivore week, which I should be fine. Um, I picked up some non-keto stuff and some keto stuff. I just got some orange juice for my husband for the week. Um, some um, hamburger buns because we'll be having hamburgers probably today. Some shredded lettuce for hamburgers, tacos, uh, some tomatoes for the week. These are really good. I really like these. Um, and I've only seen Walmart carry these. And they're very inexpensive. This pound was under two dollars it was like a dollar 98 for a pound and they always look really really good um the other thing oh i got bella some sweet potatoes so she has in the pantry i did get a bag of lemons for like my salmon my lemon water stuff like that um these are just to clean my glasses my lens wipes now it's uh grass fed grass finished angus beef burgers i've really had a taste for burgers so Four patties come in here. They were $9.52. They look delicious. So we're going to make those for dinner for tonight. I did pick up two cloves, two heads of garlic. Not two cloves, two heads. I did pick up a cake batter because I've seen so many people use this in their egg loaf. So I definitely wanted to get that even though I am not going to have that this week. Um, and then I got two pounds of the grass-fed grass spinach, Angus beef, the 90-10. Um... Because that was my only choice. Typically, I like it a little bit fattier, but that's okay because I'll put a little bit of ghee in there when I cook it up. And they're each a pound for $8.56, this one, and this one was $8.65. So that's it. Oh, and then if you watch my Instagram stories, the little clean with me's that I do, you guys know that I absolutely love the Wyman's Granite and Stone Cleaner Polish. Leaves my granite tops so nice, so nice. And then I just needed some more parchment paper. So I got one more of those. And I think this was $80 because I bought Bella like two or three toys um, 
but I didn't think you guys wanted to see it, so I put them away. But that's it, that's it. This should be good for me for carnivore. The only thing I might have to pick up later during the week are some eggs. I don't know, for some reason we're going through a lot of eggs, but whatever, it is what it is. So that is it, guys. Um, I will show you my meal plan, so stay tuned to the end. Hey friends, welcome back. So I made a quick trip to Costco. I haven't done a Costco haul in a long, long time because I haven't been to one in a while. Um, but I am on carnivore this week, a keto carnivore diet. So I wanted to go get some meats and I know they have pretty decent prices on pretty good meats. So let me just show you what I got. The first thing I got were their eggs. I do like the pasture raised Vital Farms. This is the best that they have at Costco and it's a pretty good price as well. I'll go ahead and do like an old school Costco haul where I add in the prices as well. Um, I picked this up because it is so inexpensive. This big 40 ounce is $7.99. Sometimes I pay $9.99 for like not even a 20 ounce. So I picked that up. That is not carnivore, but um, definitely for the pantry. I also needed some avocado spray. Guys, this is one of the brands that I absolutely love. And two of these were under $6 and it's propellant free. So of course, um, this is a good one to get. And it's a great deal. I think I pay like $7.99 for one. So that's amazing. Dukes, uh, they only had the original, but this big bag was $10, which is a great buy. 16 ounces. I think I pay $6 or $7 for one little bag. Um, Applewood smoked bacon. If you've been following me, you know since the very beginning I've been buying the bacon from Costco, and I absolutely love this one. This is the first time I do get Kerry Gold from Costco because I like to get the unsalted, but it seems like I've been going through it quite a bit lately because of the egg fast and then now with the carnivore. So this is the best price at Costco, so I definitely picked it up. I believe it was $9 or $10.99. Um, I picked up two organic young chickens. I'm going to be making one today. They just, it sounded good. Um... Look at the price, $17.39 for two chickens. Absolutely great. I also picked up a package of the organic chicken thighs. There's three of the packages. Um, this was $20, and it's five pounds, a little over five pounds. So definitely great on carnivore. I'm going to go ahead and fry them, fry one of the packs up in my air fryer today just to have on hand, just to meal prep a little bit. Um, these are my favorite, favorite steaks. It's the beef ribeye steak. I picked one of the smallest packs because these steaks are huge. This was only $29.61 for four of these steaks. This is definitely two or three meals for sure. This is my first time ever picking up pork belly at Costco and the price is good. $17.64 for four, almost five pounds of pork belly. I don't know how I'm going to make it, but I'm going to make it and it's going to be good, I'm sure. And then the last meat item I picked up were chicken tenderloins for Bella. I love getting them at Costco. It's the best price, $20 for a six pack. So that is incredible. I also picked up a case of water and then just a package of paper towels. And that is it. I believe my total... I'll show the receipt and I'll show the prices at the end as well. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And comment down below. Let me know how do you make pork belly. Okay, friends. Here we go. This is the meal plan for the week. I'm not sure. I might change it up a little bit. Monday the 1st, we had roasted whole chicken. Um, I also made a little bit of pork belly on the stovetop. I just fried it up. It came out okay. And then my husband had mashed potatoes with his whole chicken. Tuesday was meal prep. I did meal prep some chicken thighs, some hard boiled eggs. I made some egg salad, deviled eggs, and then some pork belly in the oven. That came out way better. For dinner, we had burgers. And then my husband made some loaded fries to go with his burger. Wednesday, we made the ribeye steaks. Um, I made the keto faux potatoes. I also filmed them. That video just went up today, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. And then um, he had some mashed potatoes uh, left over from the other day. Thursday, I ended up not making the baked chicken thighs. We made tacos for a hubby, and then I made two taquitos. Um, they're like flautas stuffed with ground beef. 
and I have just a little bit of sour cream on the side. Friday, we're just going to have a leftovers uh, and make it into nachos. Saturday, I'm planning to barbecue the steaks. And then Sunday, I wanted to do the Italian keto pasta dinner last Sunday, but we were out. Um, so I plan on doing that this Sunday, just using some very friendly keto sauce and the meats and all that good stuff. So I'll make sure to film that for you as well. So that's it for this week, and I will catch you at the next one.